My husband's been getting ready to fill out his employer's benefits and enrollment for next year, and he noticed that his employer offers life insurance. We do have some life insurance, but we were wondering if it might make sense to get some additional coverage through his employer. I'll share with you what we found out about employer life insurance plans, and I'll tell you what we decided to do at the end of this video. His employer pays for life insurance for everyone up to the amount of their annual salary, and since the employer pays for it, of course we're gonna take it. But they also offer additional life insurance that the employee can pay for up to five times their salary. The cost is around 25 cents per month per $1,000 of coverage for a 40 year old. There are some limits to who can qualify without answering additional medical questions, but the price is the same for everyone just based on their age. So my question was, is this a good deal? Well, we needed something to compare it to. And according to NerdWallet, the average cost for $500,000 in term life insurance with a 20 year term for a 40 year old man is $341 to $668 a year. That's in the ballpark of what we're paying for our private life insurance, so that seems like a reasonable estimate. So what does that work out to to cost with his employer for $500,000 in coverage? If we looked at $500,000 in coverage, that would be that 0.253 times 500 is $126.50 a month, or that's $1,518 a year. Um, that's like three to four times the cost of what typical private insurance costs for a man his age. That is definitely not a good deal. And I've seen other employer plans that are pretty similar to this. Part of why they're so expensive is that they do offer the same price to everyone at the company, regardless of if you're in perfect health or you've been diagnosed with a life-threatening condition. But that's just too expensive for most people. But let's just pretend that you have employer life insurance it is a reasonable price should you get it. Well, life insurance tied to your job is still probably not a great idea. The older you are and the more health conditions you have when you sign up for life insurance, the harder it is to get and the more expensive it gets. Do you really want to risk losing your life insurance when you leave your job? Maybe not. So would I recommend that anyone buy life insurance through their employer? Well, if you're older or you have health conditions that would prevent you from getting life insurance otherwise, then maybe it's worth considering. But even in that case, I would shop around and see if you could get a better deal on life insurance with no health questions. You might still find a better deal and you also have the security of locking in a price for a longer term than your employment might last. All right, so what did my husband decide to do? Well, right now he's 42 years old and very healthy. It wouldn't be tough for him to get a reasonably priced life insurance plan and he could lock that rate in for a 10 or 15 year term. If he got it through his employer now, then if he left his employer in five years, he'd be 47 and maybe he might have another health condition because he'd be older. And then he'd lose his life insurance when he left his job and he'd have to try it, to buy it all over again at a more expensive rate because he'd be older and maybe less healthy. So we decided it would definitely not make sense to buy life insurance through his employer. We're gonna shop around for a better deal. Next up, watch my video about mistakes people make when they're choosing their health plan.